Hello friends, today we will learn how to construct different angles using a compass and a paper. First we will take a ruler and draw the main line that is the zero degree line that will be zero degrees and the center we will mark as O. Now take your compass, at least three fingers gap between the point and the pencil and make a semicircle. Using the same radius, don't change it, give three arcs, cutting the semicircle. You have just drawn your 60 degrees. You will draw the line, your 120 degrees, draw the line and 180 degrees which is actually a straight line. That's 60 degrees, 120 degrees and 180 degrees. To draw the 30 degrees, we bisect 60 degrees. We cut off two arcs. We cut off two arcs between 60 and 120 to get 90. And we cut off two arcs between 120 and 80 to get 150 degrees. We join these two points where the arcs meet to the center that's 30 degrees straight up that's 90 degrees and that's 150 degrees 30 degrees 90 and 150 degrees to get 15 we bisect 30 degrees we can change the radius at this stage but don't change afterwards one arc the second arc that's 30 between 60 and 30 we get 45 between 60 and 90 we get 75 between 90 and 120 we get 105 between 120 and 150 we get 135 and between 150 and 180 we get 165 we join these points to the center that's 15 degrees between 30 and 60 we get 45 Between 60 and 90, we get 75. Between 90 and 120, we get 105. Make sure the lines meet the points where the two arcs meet. Between 120 and 150, we get 135 degrees. And finally, 165 degrees. So this is how we construct angles of 15 degrees in 12 using a compass. Now we'll do the same thing using a paper. Take a piece of paper and fold it into half. Once you have folded it, give a good crease and that will be your 90 degrees. So we'll mark that, we'll mark the center, that's 90 degrees. We will get 45 now by bisecting 90. That's 45. In the same way, we will do the other side to get 135.
that's 135 degrees now to get 60 we bring the edge to the center making something like a cupboard fold bring the corner along the edge folding from the center keep the center there and slide it over let the points meet the cupboard fold mark and crease it that is your 60 degrees 60 degrees fold the 60 and fold the thing over so the lower edge meets the fold line folding from the center that line will be 120 degrees now we will get 30 degrees bisecting 60 make 60 into half that will give you 30 in the same way on the other side 120 into half so we are adding another 30 degrees to 120 to get 150 degrees that's 150 we bisect 50 150 so we are adding another 15 degrees to 150 to get 165 bisect 30 degrees to get 15 so that's 15 degrees fold 15 over and fold it on the 45 degree line and that will give you 75 degrees that's 75 in the same way on the other side fold it fold the 165 and fold it on 135 degree line to get 105 degrees Now you can just draw the lines joining them to the center and you have made your paper protractor. Now you cut the extra bit off and compare with your constructions. They are absolutely perfect. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.